now removed all of the 16 rod ducts. So marching all the way back to the, to the wheel here, we've got a 118 meter long rod duct. And on top of there, there was, there was 16 uh, rods. So five meter long pieces of timber, uh, which were rotten. So they've all been removed. They were held on, on 16 bogies. So these, these trolleys, these big cast iron trolleys, they've all been removed. And then the most difficult part of it all was here where we stand. Uh, we're, we're right above the T rocker pit. So this is a kind of sunken pit, which was the top of the main shaft. So below us here, we've got the main shaft going straight down. And that's what the T rocker was doing was, was actually driving a pump that was deep, deep down in the ground there and pumping the water out of the mines. This was 10 tons of, of timber and cast iron. So it wasn't an easy task. And we're down here, as I said, in this kind of sunken pit. So the question was, how do we get it out of uh, this pit? So the solution was to actually use the rod duct to carry these huge pieces of the T-Rocker out. So that's what this enormous scaffold is about. It's about enabling us to take apart the T-Rocker, lift up that 10 ton, dismantle it piece by piece like a giant Meccano kit. And then, I don't know if you can see, there's like a crane in the middle here, a pulley, where we could actually lift the pieces up and then carry them down uh, the rod duct, where at the end it's much easier to lift them off and take them away. But it's all come apart and it's all gone off to, to Middlesbrough, uh, to an engineering firm there who are now stripping it all down, cleaning it, uh, crack and failure testing it, so that then we'll see whether there's anything, any repairs that we need to do to that, that T-Rocker before we we refurb it, bring it all back, and then do that reverse exercise and put it all back together again. We're gonna do a dry build. So in a large industrial shed, somewhere on the Isle of Man, can't disclose where yet, uh, we'll be putting it together uh, in a more controlled environment. So where we're not struggling amongst scaffold and, and mud and you know all the rest of the conditions that we have here, we'll actually put it together in a, in a shed uh, where we can you know, put it together, if it doesn't go together, take it apart, do the fettling, bring it back together, go back to the original photographs, you know, until we know that we've got it going together perfectly, then we'll bring it on site. Uh, and hopefully then it will all just slot together like a beautiful Meccano kit. While we've been doing all this, we've also been doing masonry repairs to, the, to, to the, this, this viaduct that goes down the valley. So we've been doing uh, repointing repairs, um, um, render repairs, uh, we've also been redecorating it. That's been that's been quite a process in itself because this structure is like no other building in that it 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 has no roof on it. It's constantly wetted. The, the bogies on it are constantly oiled. They, they're, they're, we have them, you know, from from when it was first made. They have to be oiled weekly. So there was the, the actual structure was saturated with oil and grease. Um, so basically, we've had to do a lot of trialing and sampling to make sure that the mortar that we're using, uh, the, 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 the paint that we're using, uh, which is a type of lime-based uh, whitewash, a lime wash, but it's kind of made tougher by adding in uh, ground marble dust, which makes it much more durable. Uh, and it's what you could then call a shelter coat. Uh, so it's, it's, it's like a reinforced lime wash. So that, that'll all be going on well, it's going on now, in fact, while the T-Rocker and the rod ducts uh, are being uh, refurbed so that when they come back, the tea, that'll all be ready. The T-Rocker can go in, then the rod ducts can be, can, can be put on, uh, all connected together, and then finally connecting it back to the wheels. So the work that we did last year, uh, there's what we call the finger post, which at the moment is kind of moving but has no connection to it so that'll be the point where we'll finally make that 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 connection and then stand back and watch it all move so then we'll see this whole the whole rod duct moving backwards and forwards uh, and the t-rocker will once again be rocking backwards and forwards and you'll see that rod which originally would have been connected to that pump going into the ground and see that actuation of that moving up and down so be an exciting day mm -hmm.